If you want to learn how to create a Google Drive folder and link it back to your contacts, company, or projects back in your CRM with just one click, you're going to want to check this one out. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach Stevenson. I am a business processes and no code consultant. If you have questions about streamlining your processes, send me a message or book a free consult using the link in the description below. Welcome to our channel where you will learn how to save hours of your time every single week. I'm going to show you how to use a Chrome extension called Ply and you can access it through ply.io. It integrates very nicely with many different applications across the web. What it is, it allows you to add custom buttons that provide different functionality and automations across your different applications that you use. So I have built a very simple CRM within SmartSuite. You can use it, like I said, across many other applications as well. But in this video, what we're going to focus on is adding a button to a company record within your CRM. And when you click that button, it is going to look to see if there's already a Google folder created for this company. If there is, then it will just open up that URL and you can view all the company documents that are related to that record. And if not, it's going to create a new Google Drive folder for you by the name of the company that's within your CRM. And then it will take that URL and link it back to the record. So in that way you can operate out of your CRM. You can go into the company that you're looking for and just click that link directly and it will open up your Google Drive where you stored all of that company's relevant documents like contracts, proposals, any working Google Sheet or anything else that you need really. You can get way more advanced than that. These are just the basics to get started. This is something that I've incorporated into my own business and into my own CRM as it's a workflow that I previously custom scripted. And this took me a matter of minutes rather than a couple hours because that is not my expertise. So to get started, you are going to need a Ply account. You can do that at ply.io and create an account. You will also need the Chrome extension. So you can just go to Google and type in Ply, P-L-Y, Chrome extension. Links to both of those will be in the description below. Other than that, let's get started. So to get started, once you have the ply.io account set up and you have added the Chrome extension, which you don't see up here, we can go into our company CRM and we're going to open up the record that we want to add this button to. Well, it will add the button to all of the records within this application or within this table. But as you can see here, I've already created one kind of as a test previously, and we are going to start one from scratch. So once you've opened up the record, it can be any record, we'll go up to the button and click create add on. We're going to have to select the workspace that we are in within smart suite, and we'll have to also create a connection if you have not done so already. So you'll see it will find the CRM or it will find the solution ID and sometimes it finds the application as well, which I've select company here. So it is with a CRM solution and the application or table is the company. So we can continue. Now we can style our button by just clicking this red dot here. And you can pick the color. And I'll just say create folder and to drag in order to open up the builder. I'm going to open it up in a new tab so that I can refer back to my smart suite record here. So as you can see, I have a Google drive field. So it's just a URL or a link field type within smart suite. So what we're going to do here is when we click this button, we want it to either, if there's a URL already existing here, we want to just open up that URL. If not, then we are going to create a new folder within Google and link the URL back and then open. So back in Ply, once I've clicked this button up here, click create add-on and made the connections to my application, which is smart suite here, we can carry on to add a new step. So what we want to do is we want to add the branch step. 
So this is going to be some logic and it's just basically an if this or that logic structure. So the two that we're going to go with is default. So if there is a URL that is found, then we're going to go default, just go ahead and open it. If there is not a URL that's found, then we're going to go branch one and we're going to just create the folder, link it back and then open it. So just two simple methods or two simple options in this use case. One thing here, I've created the branch first. However, within smart suite, we can add multiple URLs to a link field. So what that means is we have to be able to determine which URL we want to select. So what I have to do first is add a step previous to the branch that is just a count items and table. So I can type in count and you'll see here it's a table function. So we're going to count items and we're going to find the record, the Google drive, which is right here. And we're just going to test the step. It should be, give me an output of zero, which is correct. And we can go to the next stage here. Now we can use that count items, which is zero. So yeah, basically what we want to do is if less than numeric, less than one, then we want to go branch one route. So you can see here that this is for branch one. Otherwise it's a default. It'll go the default. So I can test that it's determined that it needs to go branch one because there's no record. So now what we are going to do is create a folder in Google. And again, you're going to have to create a connection. I already have one and we can continue and select your drive containing folder ID. So I always want it to go to this demo folder, for example. So I can just pick that from my list and then the folder name. I want that to be the company name that is found back in smart suite. So I can just select company name. I can create that test. It's now created a folder here for me. You can see it's created the folder here as I go through each step. And the next thing that I want to do is it has now created a folder and it has the link as well. So we can update that back in smart suite. We'll select the smart suite module, scroll down to update a record. Again, we want to select the same connection that we created the first time. So the solution ID is CRM, the application is company and the record ID is coming from, we want to map that data is coming from the second step here, which is the record and that we're working on. So we can, once it's found that it's going to find the different field types, scroll down to the Google drive shield, which is this one in smart suite. And we're going to take the folder link. So create a folder link and assign it there. So when I test this step, it should come back as a success here in a second, and it's now added that link in my smart suite account. So if I click this right now, what it's going to happen is it's going to open up this folder that we created back in Google drive. So from here, that's it from that path. Now under the branch output, we can create a parameter and what we want to do if branch one runs. And we want to bring in the create folder link and this step, we have one more thing that we have to do on this side. And now that there's a URL here, what we can do is go back and we won't want to test this path again. So we can do C sample data test again. We're going to count items this time. Now it's returning one because we have a URL in there. Now it's going to find the default path you can see here. And now what we want to do is find an item in a table. Because remember it returns the results in a table structure. So now what I need to do is go back to here, look up my Google drive and select first. So we're just taking the first item because there should only ever be one within smart suite. So we can test that step, show it as a success and go down here now and select that found item. 
I mean, test this should show up as a success. And the last thing that we want to do is we want to open the URL in a new tab. So no matter what path happens, if it says, okay, we need to create a new folder, it'll create the folder, update it back in smart suite, and then it's going to open the URL. If you click the button, it already has a URL. It's just going to go ahead and open up that URL that's been found. And we just have to map that from the branch output back here. And we can test that step and you'll see that it shows true. So now we can go and publish. So this module or app has been published now. Now we can go back into here. And if I open this up and click this button right now, what it's going to do is open up this link, which is this here. However, the next one below, there is no link in the Google Drive field. So what we can do, as you can see, there's no link. We'll go click this button now. It's running live now that we've published it down here. It's going through each step that we just outlined. You can see at the last second there before it opened it up and that it added the URL and it launched the Google Drive application or the Google Drive folder directly here. So you can see it's been named the company name that we've identified up there. So that's it for this tutorial. There's a lot of different functionality. There's a lot more advanced features that you can get into as well. For example, if you wanted to add templated contracts, proposals, or any other type of file, you can go through the process of setting that up yourself within Ply. It is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more advanced, but again, it is pretty straightforward. The more you use it, the more you'll figure it out. It is a great application to tie into and integrate with your other tools to automate some of your work much easier. So as you can see that we automated that type of task without writing any code, no scripts, nothing like that. It's awesome. The powers that it brings to applications like Smart Suite, Google Drive, and many other applications is absolutely phenomenal. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button. And that way you can get notified for many more tips, tricks, and tutorials in the future.